Hello guys, welcome to this exciting video. I just want to say thank you for anyone who has subscribed to my channel and keeps on watching my videos. And before we get started, make sure you like this video and subscribe if you are new to this channel and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any uploads. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a black line interior for your KDP journals. So without further ado, let's get started. Click on blank presentation. Okay, let's delete all the elements in our document. Alright, let's change the dimensions. Custom slice size. Okay, I'm going to go by 6 by 9 and press OK. Maximize. Alright, and let's go to insert table and insert table I'm going to choose the number of rows one and num number of column one and number of rows I'm going to choose 19 okay and then under the table design choose this one okay and drag it like so and stretch it to the edge of the screen okay just like that and then go to insert shapes and choose the rectangle and zoom into the bottom of the page And draw a rectangle like that and remove the color no fill change the outline to black okay let's center it just like that okay let's go to the top of the page okay go to insert then text box Just like that, align it, okay, insert your text, just like that, Alright, okay, now let's duplicate. Control D, select everything, then Control D, select everything, then Control D, Control D, and duplicate. We want 120 pages, okay. Keep on duplicating. Alright, now that we have 120 pages, go to the top of the page. All right. Select the first page and duplicate it. Select the first page and delete everything inside. Select everything and press delete. Go to insert, then text box. And Insert your text. This textbook, this journal belongs to, okay, just like that. And center the text and change the font type, okay. I'm going to choose Black Chancery. And increase the font size just like that okay go back to insert choose shapes then the line okay
just like that then control d to duplicate just like that all right now go to file and click on export Okay, choose your folder and name it and press OK. You can see here is our document. This is the first page and the rest of the pages. Now what we have to do is to add a number in these boxes. Okay, so go to a website called ilovepdf.com and choose and choose page numbers and drag and drop your journal into the website see our document has been loaded onto the website so we are going to choose the position we want it in the middle and from page from page 2 and we don't want the first page to be numbered so click on add numbers and click on download after our document has finished downloading we can open it as you can see the first page doesn't have any number but the second page has been numbered up to page 120 just like that